Hey you guys, I hope you all are doing well. Today's wig is brought to you by bestlacewigs.com. I'll be sure to leave the link below to this wig and also their direct store. In the box, they send you a few goodies. You get a edge comb, a wig cap. You also get a rat tail comb and a best lace wigs wig manual. Best Lace Wigs was kind enough to send me one of their 360 lace front wig. This is how the wig comes curl. Also, the length of this wig is 18 inches and the density is 180%. The knots on this wig does come bleached. All of the knots come pre-bleached. And the hairline comes a little bit pre-plucked. I already went ahead and started plucking the wig. All this time I thought my camera was recording me pluck the wig, but it's not. So right here I'm just combing out the hair that I already plucked and this is the hair that's shedding. After that, I just finished that side. I usually do this in all my videos when I show with my virgin hair wigs. I'll show you guys how I pluck it. Nothing ever changed. I just hold everything back and just keep plucking, plucking, plucking until I see my desired plucking that I want. I'm going to do a separate detailed video on how I just focus on plucking, no cutting anything out, nothing like that or that or that or that. But right now, I'm just going to show you guys how I pluck it a little bit. Like I said, the wig comes pre-plucked, but I just want it to be thinned out just a little bit more in the front. So I'm just thinning it out. So this is what it's looking like after I went in and plucked it, but bad news, I did go in and pluck one side just a little bit too much. You can actually kind of see it just a little bit, but when I put it on, you actually don't even really notice too much. So now I'm going to take my Andis hot comb. I have it on the highest temperature. On the thing, it says 20 is the highest temperature. I'm guessing that's 200 or something. But anyway, I just use this to get the top as flat as possible because I really kind of want to do the half up, half down style. Even though in the end, that's not really as it turns out to be. But shh, I still end up doing it. So right now, I'm just smoothing out the top. There is no product on the hair at all. I'm just smoothing everything back. Off camera, I went in with my My First Wigs Flyaway Tamer product. It's a like product that you use to smooth out your flyaways on your hair. After I put the product on the hair to smooth it, I went in with the hot comb to really melt the product into the hair and give it some shine. So that's how I got the top really silky smooth and really flat. Just 
Now I'm going in with my babyless curling iron. The inches of this iron is about one inches or one and a half inch. I have it on 420 degrees. I'm just gonna go in random sections where I feel like the curls could kind of use a touch up. I don't want the curls to be too perfect and I don't really want it to have too much definition. You'll see what I'm talking about because the wig already comes curly and I actually really love the curls that it comes with, but some of the curls could just use a little touch up. Like I said before, this is a 360 lace wig, so you get about a good amount of parting space. You get your two combs in the front, another comb in the back with adjustable straps. The lace is just a little bit too grayish on my skin, so to tint it, I'm going to take a little bit of my everyday foundation that I usually wear. It's a Lancome foundation in the shade, I believe, 450, and I just dab a little bit of that on my flathead brush, and I just put a dot and just try to spread the powder, the powder, <laughs> spread the foundation out on the lace by like kind of tinting it a bit. I don't really want the foundation to really sit on the lace too much. Ugh, for this my eyebrows is not even but it's okay so i am doing the ball cap method for this one and now i'm just like putting it on my head to make sure it match to see if i need to cut off any lace make sure the hairline is good you know just checking it out and it's good I'm cutting the lace really jagged and messed up because like I said before in my other videos, I see a lot of people do this and I tried it and it really works for me. So I just like cut in little zigzag motions and the hairline doesn't really match my hairline anyway. So that's why I'm not cutting it on my head in the shape of my hairline. The hairline of the wig does not match mine to a T, so I'm just going in with a eyeliner, just a dark eyeliner, and just marking where the hairline starts just so I know where to lay my wig and make sure I lay it down evenly because there's a few times I put it a little slanted because it didn't match mine. So now I'm just going to be using the bold hole glue. I really, really like this glue. Like, it really glue on, glue on me. It really glue on me, you hear me? It really grew on me. I did this before, so I'm gonna leave another video below on how I really apply it. But each time, like, I put the forehead first, then I do the right side, then I do the left side, and I just work in sections and I make sure I put three layers of glue. Three thin layers of glue, not too thin. Like don't play yourself and put it too thin now. It's like, oh, I did three thin layers. No, put a good, decent amount. But I'm gonna do a separate video on that, you guys.
after applying the right side, I couldn't find my rat tail comb, so I just picked up my scissors real quick just to press the lace into the glue. Please do not pick up your, like, scissor. I just be doing stuff, and ugh, I don't learn until I get hurt. So please, to press it down, use your rat tail comb, or if you want, some people use their fingers. Like I said before on camera, I am applying three layers of glue. On camera, you'll see me put one layer and then you'll see me put down the lace. No, I'm actually applying three layers. I just cut off the other two layers of me applying of footage. But trust me, three layers. And if you ever have extra glue poking out after you apply your lace, cause that happens a lot, don't worry. I just take a cotton pad, cotton pad, a cotton swab, and some 70% alcohol and I just rub right by the lace not too hard and not too much of the alcohol because if too much alcohol gets out and it runs onto the lace then your lace is gonna start lifting up so now I'm just gonna go in and just apply some quick baby hairs before I tie down my hair take my Glee Made Satin Scarf. Okay. After I tie that down, now I'm gonna go over that with my regular scarf. Okay, so now that that's done, now I'm gonna take my Glee Made a bonnet okay so now that I have that on I'm just gonna go ahead get ready do what I gotta do I'll be back in about a hour Now I'm gonna take a fluffy makeup brush and apply my makeup powder. Wait, that's not a brush. There we go. I'm gonna take my brush and I'm just gonna apply a little bit of powder, like just a little bit, not too much. And I'm just blending it out with on the lace with the parts that don't have powder. I was trying my hardest to get this half up and half down style to work for me, but it just wasn't working. It's cute, but I just couldn't get the top as flat as possible. Like I would actually need some help. So I'm just gonna do a deep right side part. And even when I part the hair, it looks so natural. Like come through. The hair that I just took down from the half up half down style to touch it up because it's a little like wavy, the curls dropped. I'm just gonna go with my baby list 3000.
right here is pretty much my end results and i am really happy with the results like i cannot believe i did that like wow the best thing about this wig it comes like pre-curled and the knots come bleached the hairline comes a bit pre-plucked like it's just a great straight out of the box like wow come on I got minimum shedding like super duper minimum as for tangling I got zero tangling I thought shedding was gonna be a lot because of the plucking I did but it started off shedding and then after that the shedding like laid up right away the hair is really nice super silky the density is really nice it's thick but it's like a natural looking thick if you have any questions, feel free to comment below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, you guys.